What's up guys, it's time for tennis here. The whole point of this video is that I bought this uh, stuff by a company called Fitex, I think that's how you say it. And these are basically individual grommets. I think the way that this works is that maybe you just cut one of your damaged grommets out completely and you kind of reinstall the bumper guard or whatever part of your grommet bumper system is that's damage that you need to repair and you insert this instead and you cut it to the length that you want, but it's kind of plugged on one side you can sort of see there's like a sort of a golf tee shape to it. You can th thread that through into the drill pattern of your racket and it will stay there. So I have here the grommet or the bumper. Um, I guess it's both kind of. You can, you can see how flared and damaged some of these are. And that's just what your grommets are going to look like after a string job or two. When you pull the knots in to tie the crosses or the tie-offs or whatever they are. Anyway, I'm basically going to find it impossible to put this thing back in unless I basically cut those out entirely. So all the ones that are flared or damaged looking, I'm just gonna cut those out entirely and I'm gonna replace them with these FitX grommets. So these actually come in a few sizes. Uh, sometimes it's like a diameter thing and sometimes the size is a length thing. I bought a few different ones because I didn't know exactly what's gonna work the best for me. But let's see here. So from what I can kind of eyeball, these look to be about the right size. Sometimes the Drill is a little bit bigger on the, uh, like the drill hole is going to be bigger on the cross sections. But yeah, you can see there that it just sort of fits in, right? I just threaded that through here and you can see there's like a little T-shape right at the top that stops it from pulling all the way through. I guess my question here is once I cut the grommet off, do I actually want to put the grommet over this or under this? Huh. I don't know. I haven't thought about it that far. So I have another tool that I might end up using, which are essentially just super ridiculously, awesomely nice scissors that cut through anything like butter. Um, but something that you're more likely to have is this little string cutting tool. So I'm going to try cutting the grommet off with that instead, because that would be more relevant to most of you guys, I'm sure. So let's just cut this. I should cut it all the way down, right? Because this is not going to fit through that. Yeah, so I mean, this is a full on replacement. I'm gonna install it under the head card because otherwise if I don't, then I have to drill this to be larger just so that I can slide it through the plastic part. I'm gonna cut this as flush as I can and then I'm going to uh, just reinstall it on top of this grommet replacement. Okay, wow, I wasn't filming, but wow, that cut off super easily actually. So I'll show, hopefully it goes as smoothly as it did that time. But so I'm picking my grommet here, right? And I'm just gonna line that up flush and then snip. Yeah, that came off real clean, actually. It's just basically totally flush. I don't think that's going to be an issue reinstalling it all. I thought it was going to like have like a jagged edge or something like that, but it totally doesn't. So cutting these with the string cutting tool is very easy, actually. So highly recommend doing that. Just going to cut the rest of these off that need to be replaced. I wonder if I'll end up using different sizes of these things. Hmm, that one could have come off a little cleaner. That was good. I think that'll still be fine now. Do I need to replace that one? It's gonna be a little hard to get in there. This one probably needs to be replaced. Dang, it turns out I'm actually cutting out quite a few of these. So I had to get up and get my dowel tool here, which is really helpful. Sometimes putting the bumpers back in, you kind of line it up with your grommet and the drilled hole and you kind of like pry it in there and then wedge it in and then you can push it in much more easily. So I might end up doing that here. Yeah, there you go. So I'm just filming pieces of this job because I feel like maybe some detail in what I'm doing will be helpful to someone that's stuck on how to figure this or that out. Some people struggle with the grommet install process. Um, sometimes there's just reasons for that. Sometimes your grommets are totally screwed up or maybe you just aren't approaching it the right way. So hopefully something about the video maybe caught your eye and answered some questions. Anyway, I guess the grommet kind of goes back in just fine. Yeah, I just wanted to see that before I actually put these under the head guard, like I said I was going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Yes, I'm going to put this one here. I'm going to try to avoid taking it all the way off, but it might be necessary to. There we go. I think that's it for the grommets on that side. Use the dowel again to reinstall these aligned properly. Sometimes it's better to actually not 
align the grommet all the way, especially when you have a few left to do. You might go up one and then align it a little bit and then maybe go up another one and then align it a little bit because if you try to do one hole all the way at a time, you might just uh, stretch things a little too much or end up fighting something when you can, you can just get it to agree with you a little easier if you just uh, kind of do things more sparsed out, if that makes sense. I'm mostly using the FitX uh, 3.8 millimeter by 20 millimeters. I think 20 millimeter will probably stick through the frame far enough everywhere except on the parts that sort of go through the throat like here. Like right here, for example. I mean, it's going to depend on your racket, but sometimes you need more length and you never think about that until you actually replace the grommets uh, piece by piece, which I didn't even know was possible. I didn't know that they offered a product like this, but it's great that they do. Because this V-Core is so new that they don't even sell the grommet replacement set. Yeah, this is great because sometimes you don't even have a replacement option out there. There's rackets that are just old. They don't make the grommets for them anymore. So what are you going to do? You could do some makeshift jimmy rig thing or, you know, this is pretty legit. You could do this. All right. That looks good. That looks good. That looks good. That looks good. Cool. Everything looks good. That's how it looks right now. And this is how they're going to look until I cut them. So I guess I'll just use my cutting tool again and I will cut them to the appropriate length, which I'm just going to eyeball. And it looks to be about maybe two millimeters or so from the frame. I don't think this needs to be a super precise job, but I mean, the goal of the grommet is to kind of protect the string from rubbing against the frame. There goes one. I can always cut these down a little more later. So I'm going to give them a little bit more length than I might otherwise. Because some of these might be tie off grommets and I might want just an extra couple of millimeters or something there. There we go. Cool. Yeah, honestly, that looks great. Maybe you can tell that some of them are just ever so slightly longer, but yeah, basically I'm going to string this racket back up now and see how it plays. I'll let you guys know. And we're back. So I got these grommets installed, these repair grommets, these single piece grommets by Fitex. Hope I'm saying that right. I don't think anybody really knows about this company. Only people that are really into repair work for rackets, like repairing grommets or, you know, just kind of a, a really niche crowd, even in the tennis community, I think. So here's what they look like. And I think <laughs> it's going to be hard to tell which ones are the repair ones or not. And that's a really good sign, right? I'll show you this side of it. And you won't even see it because it actually fits under the bumper. And as I showed you before, it has like a little T-hook on it, so it doesn't actually get pulled all the way through. And yeah, it just makes for a super clean, professional-looking grommet repair. It almost looks like I never even repaired my grommets at all, and that's awesome. And it wasn't that hard. It was just one of those things that has a slight learning curve because it was my first time doing it. But it is super simple. You literally just take the grommet and bumper off, you slide that thing in, and then you put the bumper and grommet system back on and maybe you have to cut off some ends of your damaged grommets and you're just essentially replacing it with that FitX one. But yeah, it looks super clean. So yeah, I hope that's helpful. And I'm super glad that I looked into it enough to find out about that company FitX. And yeah, blessing in disguise that I recklessly took this bumper off to install lead tape on the racket before I even got to know the racket. But it is what it is, as they say. And yep, this is where it brought me. So. No regrets. Anyway, I'll be talking about this racket more. I really like it. And I'll be talking about that XTP uh, extension bumper or <laughs> extension butt cap that I have on here. So stay tuned for that. I've made a 27 inch racket, 27.5 with this modification under the grip, which I will talk more about later in some playtest videos. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. See you guys in a future video. Take care. Hey there guys, thanks again for watching. I just wanted to say I really appreciate your guys' views and your comments and your likes and uh, the subscriptions because it means a lot when this channel grows. And I just wanted to point out that I'm trying to do really valuable content on this channel, either stuff that I have a unique perspective on or something that really just hasn't been done before. And I haven't seen anything talking about these FitX 
replacement grommets out there. Um, and there's a, a lot of content on my channel that just isn't really on other tennis channels. So if you like that and you appreciate that and you want to show your support, please subscribe, like, and comment on this video or do any one of them. You don't have to do all of them, but if you want to, I guess you're kind of a super fan. All right. Well, I appreciate you and thank you again. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.